this video will show you how you can fix any lags or stutters in Fortnite Chapter 6. We will adjust your Windows settings as long as your Fortnite settings for the best performance possible and to boost any low NPC to the next level. Make sure to watch the video till the end since each step is crucial and check out our performance tool. But now let's get started. The first thing we're gonna start with is going to our advanced system settings. And for this, you open up the Windows search bar and then you're gonna see the startup and recovery category. You're gonna click on settings and in the system properties, we're gonna go over to the system protection. And in general, now we would click on create. If the button is grayed out for you, go to configure and turn on the system protection for your restore points, apply this, and then you should see the create button is no longer grayed out. Make sure to also enable this for the other drives if you want to. I just want to do it for the C drive. Then you click on create. I'm going to call it FPS boosting YouTube. Click the create button and now just wait a few seconds. This is your first step to boosting your FPS to the next level. So make sure to stick till the end to not miss anything. After you've successfully created your restore point, you can go ahead and stay in the system properties. Go back to the advanced tab and now we go to the settings of the performance category. Click on this by default. It is let Windows choose what's best for my computer. It's just for best performance. And in general, you could keep it like this. This is just based on preferences, but I prefer to not lose the whole Windows 11 experience or to at least have some animations. So I enable the smooth edges of screen fonts, show thumbnails instead of icons, and show window contents while dragging. But as I said, just choose whatever you prefer. Click apply. And once you applied these changes, we can finally leave the advanced tab and move on. And we're actually going to continue with adjusting our power settings. If you search up power in the Windows settings, you're going to see this edit power plan and you can also go via the control panel to this tab. But we just want to go to the power options. And as you can see right now, I got the thrust ultimate plan. For you, it's probably going to be balanced. In general, you can just choose the high performance one. It should do the job. But if you also want my ultimate plan, you can go on our Discord. Link is also down in the description. Go to the performance channel and download the thrust ultimate plan bat file. You can also expand this and view and it's just going to create a new power plan for you. You can check the whole source if you want to make sure it's safe to use. I actually downloaded this already on my desktop and if I now double click this, I'm gonna open this up. It's automatically gonna create the new one for me and don't worry if it says the power scheme subgroup or settings specified does not exist. It just varies from system to system but if it's possible for your system, it applies the best possible settings for performance and less input delay. After you've run this, it should automatically enable but just to check, we're gonna go to a different tab, go back and you should see the Frost Ultimate plan now if you ran this. Just a reminder, if you have overheating issues, don't use this. Stay on some balanced plan but if you don't go ahead and use the high performance plan next thing we're going to do is going to the game mode settings just search it up again and here in this game mode settings make sure it's enabled some people saying it's placebo but i actually noticed the difference in my average fps so make sure to enable this and continue by going on this graphics tab scroll down to your desired game in our case it's going to be fortnite if it's not added yet here which is probably not going to be the case for most of you but if so we can add a desktop app click on this or it's going to show browse it depends on your windows version and we're going to go to the installation path where fortnite is installed so go ahead go to this directory go to fortnite fortnite game binaries win64 and we're going to choose the fortnite client win64 shipping executable file now it should be added to your list in here click on it change the gpu preference we don't want to let windows decide we want the highest performance possible so choose your gpu here this next setting optimization for windowed games should only be enabled if you're playing windowed or windowed full screen mode if you're playing full screen disable it in my case i'm playing windowed full screen scrolling up again you're gonna see this advanced graphics settings once you open it up make sure hardware accelerated gpu scheduling is enabled as long as the variable refresh rate and the next adjustment we're gonna do is i want you to disable the core isolation called memory integrity and also the vulnerable driver block list and in short just to explain you what these settings even do so not just blindly disabling any security features on your pc memory integrity or hvci is a virtualization based security feature it enforces strict code integrity checks in the kernel so only properly signed drivers can run the last two things are in our system configuration tab go to services and filter for running processes and this depends from device to device based on what you installed so i can't really tell you what to enable and what to disable but i just want you to go through these through these running processes and check if they're actually necessary to run right now and if not just disable them as they could take performance the last thing isn't really an adjustment we're gonna do i just want to remind you to make your windows updates as it could have an actual impact on your performance the same goes for your gpu drivers i actually forgot to make an update almost the 17th so i really gotta do this update after this video but just a simple reminder to make sure now we can almost launch fortnite and make the last few adjustments in your game settings but before i'm gonna do this i want you to link the best game user settings once again on my discord right there you can just download it again press windows r go into this folder i will also put this down in the video description so you can just paste it in right here and once you're in this folder you can drag and drop the game user settings file in here to automatically apply my settings and based on this we're gonna make a few adjustments based on your device
this in game now in the fortnite lobby i'm gonna go over to the settings video tab and in here we're gonna start with the window mode and as i said earlier i personally recommend playing in full screen mode but it really depends so some pros actually play on windowed full screen and some on full screen a preference setting once again next important setting is vsync and i prefer it to be turned off and as the description already says disabling vsync can give higher frame rate and better input response but can result in horizontal screen tearing we want to make sure that we get the best fps and least input delay so turn this off and i personally recommend you to cap your fps and not setting it to unlimited and for you to know which fps you should cap it on it's based on your monitor refresh rate i personally got a monitor with 240 hertz but it depends on yours and i would either set it to the refresh rate of your monitor or set it one above rendering mode should either be direct x11 or performance this is the setting you should play around with if you set this to be completely low you can't even play the game properly anymore as you don't see anything so make sure to find the best possible 3d resolution so that you can still play good while keeping your fps up view distance textures meshes should all be low and this is how you adjusted your pc for the best performance i will also drop a tricking tool for even better optimization within the next few days so make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications and i'm gonna see you in the next one